everybody, this is Alicia G for New Release Wednesday show and today I am going to be reviewing Marvel's Generation X, issues one and two. Generation X is written by Christina Strain and illustrated by Emil Carpina with covers by Terry Dodson. Uh, to be quite honest with you, I am a fan of the original Generation X. And when I say fan, I mean I was reading it when it came out in 1994 when I was a middle schooler and it ended in 2001 when I graduated high school. So it came out at a very important time for me and I was raised on that comic. So when Marvel announced they were making a new Generation X, to say I was excited is very understated. I was a little apprehensive just a bit, mostly because I wanted to see if they could make this book as good as the comic I remembered. And I was not let down. Christina Strain's writing is absolutely phenomenal. The dialogue is snappy, it's believable, the characters are well written, Jubilee is written like an adult finally after being around for 28 years, and she's extremely relatable for a millennial like myself. I'm in my 30s now, so um, some of the things she said in the comic, like I thought, you know, by the time I was an adult, I'd have everything figured out, and I don't, and that's incredibly relatable. It's a very down-to-earth comic when you consider everything it involves. The students aren't necessarily new characters, except for the creation of Nathaniel Carver, who is a half-Korean, half-white kid who from Texas who has the ability to tell what somebody's history is by skin contact. Um, he's a very interesting character. I look forward to reading more about him and his adventures, but the whole story, the first issue, is framed from Nathaniel's point of view as he enters the school and realizes that maybe he doesn't belong there, especially after Quentin Quire, of course, goes and causes trouble before Jubilee even has time to get to her first class. The uh, action, the pacing is really good. The action is executed brilliantly by Emil Carpina's sense of style. And what I like about the art is the fact that Emil Car, um, his art is wonderful and strange and not like anything you're seeing in the mainstream comics right now. And why I like that is because when Generation X came out, back in the 1990s when you had Bacallo getting his big major break on the comic. It was also not like anything else you were seeing in comics at that time. I like it. It's weird and it's beautiful and it flows extremely well. Um, issue two is just as good, if not better than issue one. Issue one is meant to establish everything, get you going, get you interested in the characters. So when issue two comes out, we have a better understanding of where everyone is. Pure fires attack the school. You can't have an X-Men comic without something going horribly wrong. But it's done wonderfully. Once again, Pina kills it on action. Just draws such beautiful fight scenes. We get to see the kids jump into action even though they're not supposed to. And it's just overall, it wraps up very nicely. Overall, I want to give the comic a 10 out of 10. Maybe I'm biased because I'm a big fan of the original, but it's just such a fun comic. Again, great characters, snappy dialogue, lots of really good interactions. It's good for nostalgic fan, or nostalgia fans, and it's great for new readers. Marvel was trying to really come out strong from the gate with, with the um, X-Men Resurrection line, and I'm going to be honest, I've been reading most of the titles in that, and so far Generation X is the standout title for the Resurrection line. So my bottom line, I recommend it to literally everyone. You don't read comics, I still recommend it. You read comics, go read it. This is the best teen book. The original was the best teen book. This is, again, the best teen book. Go read it. I promise you will love it. So that's my review for Generation X number one and two. Issue three comes out on June 14th, so be sure to pick that up at your LCS when it comes out or at any online retailer where you buy comics. And once again, I've been Alicia G for New Release Wednesday. You can find me at Twitter at Wonderbread. You can also find me at Instagram at Wonderbread. And I will see you guys later.